Payment by results. Who could argue with that? You tell people what you want, hand them responsibility for doing it, and pay for what you get. They take the risk, and if they don't do what they said they would, they don't get paid. So heads I win, and tails I don't lose. Simple, elegant, a perfect model. No wonder ministers love it. But ministers are pulling a lever that will mean greater dysfunction, costs will rise, and services will be worse. What we know is that if you manage any system by attention to output, people cheat. So, for example, in the work program, we see what people call creaming and parking. Creaming means find the people who are going to get a job anyway, and parking means park the people who are very unlikely to get a job. Now, no one can deny that cheating occurs, especially when it gets its own special label. To take another example, they call it gaming in the health service. Ministers are aware that people cheat, but they play it down, arguing that only a few cheat. And they set out to catch the cheats, instead of realising that cheating is systemic in any system managed in this way. Why do people cheat? Because it's the only way to survive. And if you've signed up for payment by results, it's the only way to get paid. It gets worse. Many so-called payment for results programmes actually pay for activity, not results. So you can get paid for assessing people and meeting assessment targets while nothing of any use gets done for the person concerned. You can get paid for sending someone on a parenting course or drug rehabilitation programme when these activities do nothing to solve people's problems. We'd all like results. We'd all like people to get back to work. We'd all like people who need care services to get their problems solved. We'd all like offenders to stop offending. But results come from attention to means, not outcomes. And there's the paradox. If we manage by attention to means, we improve. If we manage by attention to output, we will only distort the system. Payment by results is no different to management by targets. They focus people's behaviour on the wrong things. Payment by results is toxic. It fails the clients, it demoralises the workers, and it creates a cadre of management whose expertise is in fiddling the figures, not improving achievement of purpose. You should avoid it like the plague.